Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here in the Transformers Kingdom Review, and this is the last release of the Kingdom line before we get into Legacy. This is Kingdom Voyager Class Blaster coming with Eject. This is your box art here, Blaster right here, and you get his stereo mode right here, his alt mode, and then you got your Kingdom artwork here, and your back 20 steps gets you blast around, Eject goes inside. There's Eject. He has made a clip of plastic. Here's your top of the box. Now we're getting him in the first wave release of Legacy. And we're getting a whole new box. And these boxes here are like psychedelic crap. These are just bright colors ready to mess with your eyes and your brain. And it says, one good thing about this packaging is that on the shelf, it will stand out. You will notice it when it's sitting on the shelves. So that's the only thing about the Legacy Packaging. I really like that. The colors will pop, so it'll make you actually notice it from a distance if there's something on the Transformer yeah. section. So it's a good thing with this last figure here of Kingdom, which he is being found a lot on the shelves now, but he'll be re-released in Legacy. So if you miss out on him, don't worry. Don't be scared. You will find this guy most likely. Being the first wave of a new line, those are usually pretty plentiful. And I think Walmart's around me usually stock the first wave really good. I'm getting this figure, and I got the package, and I got him out. I was like, man, he feels pretty hefty. And he does weigh 5.5 five ounces now that's with eject inside and him holding his gun i had him next to earthrise prime i weighed the optimus prime he's like four point like eight ounces so he weighs more than the earthrise prime it is a nice figure like i said these legs here are pretty hefty they are pretty solid and he does have a little bit of a hollow gap inside here but it's for transformation and everything but he is a pretty solid the biggest hollow part or uh, fending for that is right here in the back of the legs but at least it's in the back and most people don't, you know, put their figures on the shelves like that. Look at the head sculpt. Now, it is molded in red plastic. His face is painted silver. He has painted blue eyes. Now, the little top of his helmet is a painted white. It's sort of an off-white. Almost like a white mixed with these silver. It's not the same colors. They might look like they're the same colors. They are not. Yeah, he's got a blue transparent plastic here on the door. It seems like the springs are actually attached to the blue transparent part when you open this up. But it's actually like red plastic here. It's painted uh, yellow. You can see where the transparent plastic here is on that. And you just take your eject figure, which is molded all in uh, clear plastic. Translucent plastic. You just stick him in there and close. Well, get him in there all the way first and close it up. And then he's inside. And to eject it, you just push these inward like that. And it works best pushing in the middle with the middle two buttons. Now he does have a molded finger to press that. Much like Soundwave has on his uh, left hand to hit the little button up top. He has it on his right hand. I think a lot of times in the cartoon he didn't use his right hand to hit his buttons. Uh, you got It takes a little more effort to get to that point. And his got a little bit of wrist movement here so he can kind of push it but you push on this button here it doesn't really do anything you like to so really got to get it to the middle or push hard so it just kind of get get he just needs a little help there we go I'm just help him out kind of bummer he can't just hit this button here and make it eject open but yeah not that big of a deal not a deal breaker by any means there are no wrist swivels so you know that kind of hurts the ability to get his hand there but the figure is lovely. I like the little speakers that are molded here, which do rotate around for uh, alt mode. I like that ability. Uh, I wish it came with some other effects, like an, things that you could attach on, like the little speakers and use an auto bop. Uh, ankle tilts right here as well. Molded feet are nice. You get your thigh swivels. Yeah, you get your hips out to there. Here, he's got this little skirt back here. You can raise up to get your legs to go backwards. Oh, I pulled the door open. Uh, then you get your knee bends. He's got good joints here. Uh, they're not overly tight, but they're pretty stiff. Uh, RC likes them stiff. Uh, you, wrist, like I said, there's no wrist swivels, but you can kind of move them in here. And they go out for transformation. Shoulders up, all the way around head. You got a little rock, a little down, a little up, and you can 360 around as well. And you know you got this little butt flap. You do get your... Uh, 360 waist swivels now a problem with this being right here in the waist is i'm gonna constantly hit this button when i'm trying to pose him and everything but yeah, i'm not going to argue about it because that is g1 accurate accessory comes with comes with this blaster right here blaster comes with his blaster disappointingly i don't know if mine's a bad copy i haven't watched anybody else's reviews yet on this figure i like to come in first with an open mind on my new products before i start watching anybody else's reviews is that it doesn't hold a blast effect it's got this little bitty little nub 
and this does not hook on at all you can't yeah so why give us something so cool and then say yeah screw it take it away but this is his gun very g1 like here's his g1 gun this is from the reissue that came out at walmart i actually sold my original g1 blaster and that's one of my biggest regrets because it was in great condition too i should have never sold it but i was really desperate for money about 10 years ago and i needed the money and i already had the uh was it San Diego Comic Con or some release of one that was in a package with a bunch of cassettes. So you just take it and put it in either hand. Uh, I'm right handed, so most of the things I put it in go in the right hands. So that is your blaster. And the funny thing is, once I got my blaster, the first thing I wanted to do with him was not try to recreate a scene from the Autobop. Stop rocking, dude. I'm just jamming out. Um, or anything from the movies or anything like that. No, I wanted to get the three main Autobot stars from Carnage and C minor why would I want to do that as I, I need a new uh, broadside we need a, like a commander class broadside to get the right kind of scale for this and they should do it where he can like they should make a generation slugs version where he looks like that first uh, animation model that they changed over to the other one but yeah I wanted to mimic this scene why uh, I don't know more comparisons, here he is next to a G1 reissue blaster from Walmart. Earthrise Optimus Prime. The comparison that everybody's doing, here he is with Netflix uh, Soundwave. Yes, blaster is taller. He was pretty much Optimus Prime's height in the cartoon. And they seem to try to go closer to this animation, cart the Sumbo scale chart. So he is the right scale for that. And next to McFan Toys Blaster. So it's Father and Sunday out at the park. They're going to go play at Carnage and Sea Minor Land. And next to his Autobop co star, here is Kingdom Trax. And next to the G1 animation model, I know it's not exactly right, but it's a good mix of toy and tune. It leans more towards the tune. And this looks really, I'm really impressed with this blaster so far. It's probably. My, my favorite figure of the year, which is pretty easy since the year is only six days old as filming of this, but it is a really good figure. Very, I can't hit the button. It's hefty, it's got the weight, it's got the articulation, it's got the sculpting, the paint. This is very beautiful. I think a very well done robot mode. Uh, now we're going to take a look at Eject and then we're going to transform him into his stereo mode. So let's get Eject out, hit the button, take out the cassette, close it back up, put Blaster to the side. Here is Eject, uh, and we're going to transform Eject. It's very simple, almost very much like the original G1. Just grab into a little notch here on the back of his head. Helps if you have fingernails. Now I just cut mine. I just clipped my fingernails, so I don't have fingernails. Yeah, out your ass, dude. Okay. All right, got a hold of it. Pull the head up on this ball joint, and you just want to spin it around. And there's his head sculpt. Very, very G1. A little bit of blue paint smudged right there. Trying to see his eyes. They are hidden there. Uh, they are blue as well. They are painted blue because his head is actually not translucent. See, he's got this gray plastic back here. I'm going to come down here to his legs. You can see where the ball joint is. So you want to pull from his crotch. Right here. Bring this down. And then turn it this way. So grab it right here by his crotchetals. Bring this down. Bring it down. Turn it around. Arms done just like G1. Bring it out from the sides. Spin it at the ball joint. He's got these little molded in hands, but he's got peg holes on the side here where you can put any kind of weapons. Like that. So if you got a weapon, uh, here's a gun from, uh, if I can pick it up from somebody. And I think it's Nana, so I'm not sure who this, this is. Yeah, you can put a gun right there, a weapon, accessory, whatever. Articulation here. You got your ball joint and knees. Yeah, you got to move your hips forward, backwards. Uh, Full splits out of him. No waist swivels. You got this right here for your shoulder joints, elbows. Just your uh, swivels there. Head, you can see you can 360 around. He, of course, he can look up because of transformation. Uh, this piece here for the shoulders do a 360 as well. So that's your articulation and with that. Let's do a quick comparison here with uh, War for Cybertron Rumble. Right, thanks to Rumble. Yes, in my world, Rumble is blue. Hey, Frenzy, Rumble, whatever. And yes, Eject is slightly taller than Rumble. Frenzy. Whatever. All right, let's transform Blaster. Very simple. Come around to the back. You want to grab this middle piece here. Pull it all the way down. Fold his head inside. Close that back up. Turn him around. We're going to bring his shoulders up. Spin his arms around like this. 
fold his hands the reverse way all the way down and this is then going to there's a hinge pin right here you want to grab that you want to just get the red part here to come up and you're going to fold it down and around like that so bring it up around down it's it locks in so it gets a very tight uh, lock in robot mode that way your arms are always going the wrong ways when you're trying to pose them up bring this up here we're going to spin him around the waist like this come down here to the feet open these up bring this red panel up all the way another one as well bring his arms down like this now there are these little tabs or slots you can kind of see them right there in the black pieces now on the back of his legs you see these big tall tabs that's where they're going to go so you're going to spin this around like this and you're going to bring this up and that's going to tap into that right there so it's about lining that up and then you want to stick that piece in do that and bring the other one up spin that right here and we're going to tap that one in as well after you do that you can see these, t these tabs right here slots we're going to close this down and tab that over those go ahead i meant to do this earlier you want to spin these in you push in and just spin these around the locks and that spins his speakers over and these right here look closer to these that are right here now there's this tab right here in this red piece that's going to go in these little slots on the sides of his chest bring this up hands are going in the little cavity that's now on the back of his legs so you bring it around and that will lock on like that and then you want to fold his feet down you can go ahead and do that before you do the other one and we're going to bring this one up same thing hardest part is actually getting this to move uh, there. Okay, this one here doesn't like to have it in for me there we go got it and come around to the back part here these right here are this little peg hole it just pegs onto these bring these up like this say one has a tab the other one has an opening and you're going to bring these around and this is now going to make the handle for his boom box mode open this up you take eject stick them back inside a blaster you would think this would be easy Close it up, turn this around. There's a tab right there between these two little looks like thrusters. On his gun, there in the handle, there's a slot right here. Just want to slot that on. Like that. And now you have transform blaster into his boom box. It's pretty cool. The handle is pretty tight enough where you can actually hold it. I wouldn't suggest sling you know slinging this thing around by holding it because you might untap it then, but just to carry around gently, it works just fine to the side looks good back i mean it cleans up fairly well it's not bad you, again you're not posing on your shelf this way you're going to have it on your shelf that way comparison with the g1 reissue blaster i think it's really good i know the kingdom is smaller this looks really i'm really impressed with this blaster i gotta say i don't want to like throw so much love at it but this figure is top notch and next to netflix soundwave and next to the little mini blaster that came with Masterpiece Tracks. Some overall final thoughts on this figure. It's an excellent figure, I'd say. It's probably one of the best figures produced, in my opinion, by Hasbro in a long time in the mainline Transformers. Uh, I can't wait for everybody to be able to pick this figure up. I can't wait to get Studio Series 86 Perceptor to put next to this blaster. I think they'll look really cool next to each other. I will definitely recommend this figure to anybody who loves Blaster or Transformers at G1 Movie or Carnage in C Minor. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next ones. Peace out.